Black and sexy, baby. Hey, y'all, this is Alexis of Intellectual Media, and this is Two Minute History. Let's talk about Chicago, redlining, and creating the black ghetto. Recently, there have been a lot of grumblings about Chicago. What's going on in Chicago? I said the other day, what the hell is going on? Particularly about the violence. But to understand the state of black Chicago neighborhoods, one must know the history of those neighborhoods. When black people fled from the South during the 20th century to Chicago, they often faced competition for jobs and housing from European immigrants. Through the 20s and 30s, many Chicago neighborhoods had covenants barring black people from moving in. Thanks to the 1934 Housing Act, residents in certain areas were denied loans, mortgages, and insurance. These areas were often lined in red on maps for banks, and were surprised, predominantly black. Black people were forced to contract buy or rent overpriced and overcrowded apartments, which made financial situations worse for people who were usually getting paid less than their white peers. In 1946, Chicago began producing projects in poor black neighborhoods to keep them out of sight and out of mind from white Chicagoans. When white people fled for the suburbs of Illinois, they left behind cities in crisis. There were fewer businesses, less jobs, and less incentives for government help. In black neighborhoods, schools suffered from low property taxes. Crime wasn't effectively regulated by police, but they did make sure to implement police brutality. Plus, less jobs meant more crimes for survival, usually via drugs or prostitution. If anyone wants to address crime and violence in modern day Chicago, I'm looking at you, Donald Trump. What the hell is going on? They need to address the systematic disadvantages that created these neighborhoods. They also need to address the generations of economic disadvantage. Matter of fact, if anybody wants to address generational violence and crime in cities across the country, they need to examine the patterns of racial discrimination and laws that allow it. Welcome to America. Because Chicago isn't the only city that redlines its black citizens into economic disadvantage. The ghetto or the hood or whatever you call it was not created on accident. Black and sexy, baby.